Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragonvale World, which I am now probably hopelessly addicted to. It's just so cute. Look at all of my little dragons. Ah, my little new guy is waddling around inside of the breeding cave. We have got all these wizards just wandering all over the place. We have the epic breeding cave now with who knows what kinds of eggs waiting for us. And basically I am still just frolicking and rolling in all of the inspiration that I have been getting from playing this, which is fantastic. I have so many ideas for so many of our series, you guys. It is just amazing. Also, this witch has some money for me. Thank you, ma'am. And as you guys can see, I'm pretty sure I showed you last time that we were expanding over in this area. A lot has happened since last time, and I still have two days, only two precious days, which are gone by the time you guys see this video, to unlock the sensational spring. I am so, like, worried I'm going to miss it. Spring is my favorite season, and it's going to be like, oh, don't worry. You can totally work on the summer dragon. I don't want the summer dragons. I want the beautiful spring cherry blossom dragons. And so that is what we are going to continue our quest working on today, my friends. We are going to try to haul bunny hunkers up to level 18, which I don't think is that far away. And I have actually been building a ton of habitats because we have gone up to level 16, which means we have unlocked something pretty epic. I am so excited. Well, there's actual epic dragons, so they're not the epic dragons, but we have unlocked, and let me see if I can find where they're hiding, the fairy dragons. We have unlocked the ability to have the fairy dragons. <gasps> it has a little flower on the end of her tail. Oh my gosh. Okay, we may have to work on a fairy dragon pretty soon. And then we have also unlocked all of the fairy dragon mixes, and we have also unlocked, uh, yeah, there's tons and tons of fairy dragon mixes. I'm pretty sure we unlocked something else that was really important and epic, but I cannot seem to find it just yet, so we'll work on that. Oh, the rainbow dragon! We unlocked a rainbow habitat and a rainbow dragon as a result. Let me see if I can find it. We have the ancient habitat unlocked, and I'm actually working on building one that you guys are going to see today that will include things like the fancy fossil dragon, which I'm very excited to see. I mean, just look at this ancient habitat. I know some of you guys must be like, Siri, why are you so in on the, the dragon game? But look at that beautiful ancient habitat. Look at the way it has the glowing little stones and it's got that really fantastic gigantic piece of amber. It just gives me so much inspiration for everything, basically. I just love the art style and I love the design of everything. And there it is! The the rainbow habitat, my friends, full of beautiful rainbow waterfalls, clouds, beautiful flowers and trees. And I'm pretty sure that is one of the habitats that we have here ready and waiting for us to go ahead and open. So that's what we're going to work on today opening up the new habitats, uh, clearing away some of the land, and working on hopefully getting enough experience to get up to level 18. Also, let me go ahead and harvest up our food. And yes, I know, by the way, because I have so many concerned comments every time, if I planted other food, we would be able to get more food back. The reason I plant the dragon roots every time when we're recording is because I can harvest them every five minutes. So I am on top of those while we record. So that's why we have those guys. Guys. Also, I expanded the uh, the egg hatchery so that we can now have up to four eggs at a time because, you know, I figure I'm a patient person. That's a little bit of a lie because I totally bought a ton of gemstones even though I shouldn't have. Bad Siri, bad Siri. Uh, and we have been rushing through everything, desperately going for that sensational spring. But I'm a pretty patient person when we don't have special limited edition events going on. And I figure it'll be really fun to show off some new eggs with our dragons by having all four of them sitting and waiting to hatch with you guys. So we'll hatch those up in just a second too. I think I may have fed some of my dragons so that they grew uh, but we'll look over all of that in a minute for now let's go ahead and this is our expanded jungle exhibits by the way I really love the way they look and Imash how are you doing my friend you gotta love those enchanted dragons he does a fantastic job of really getting through and um He's just amazing at bringing in all the money. So yeah, Emesh, his high level and his enchanted ability, even though he is a really kind of interesting and intriguing looking flytrap dragon, he's fantastic. 
But in between these two fully expanded jungle exhibits, I'm trying to kind of build like a cute little jungle area back here. And I thought, uh, when I realized I couldn't put uh, like them closer together, I thought, let's fill this space in with an ancient exhibit. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. And it kind of looks like all of the little rivers connect now. How neat is that? I am so happy that we were able to make that work. So now it kind of looks like the rivers connect from my jungle exhibits into this little ancient exhibit and that's really nice. And then there's another one down here. Are you guys ready for this? Dun 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 dun! Oh it's a fairy exhibit! <laughs> All right, new elements await. Remember, you can purchase dragons and their habitats from the market. Thank you very much, helpful person. Uh, so that's kind of funny because I literally thought this was a rainbow exhibit and it's a fairy exhibit. So that kind of cracks me up to be completely honest, but it looks great next to our little snackery, if you ask me. It definitely looks like a place where, you know, maybe you could just walk in here and pick a whole bunch of mushrooms or whatever that the dragons would definitely love or maybe for some potions. But it's a good thing we have this fairy exhibit because we happen to have a fairy egg. So let's go ahead and hatch the fairy egg first because I know that is probably going to be a very popular dragon and she is going to be the beginning of an entire fairy lineage. So um, let's give her some little hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm going to name her Tulip. I am going to name her Tulip. This is just adorable. We have now opened up the fairy dragon. Huzzah. That is so cool. All right. So we now have one little fairy dragon. Her name is going to be Tulip and she is going to be the founder. Oh, she's so tiny. <gasps> Tulip. Tulip, you're so small. How are you going to endure? Oh, ha, ha, ha. You guys, look at her little tail. It looks like a little tulip uh, bulb, which is why I want to name her Tulip. So let me go ahead. She's now going to be Tulip. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and feed her up so that she can become a much bigger dragon. And of course, the more we feed her, then not only is she going to be old enough to be able to breed, but she will also, oh, she's so cute. She will also be able to uh, give us lots of experience. So let's feed her some more. Tulip, have all the food you want. Let's get her up to the next level and see what she looks like. I think it's level nine is when they really change. <gasps> there we go. Tulip, you're growing up literally so, Tulip, your head is huge. Oh my gosh, that was so cute. She did a little ballerina spin. <laughs> But Tulip, to be completely honest, you're in your really awkward juvenile years <laughs> and you, you need to grow up, my dear. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I forget how the middle, the middle stage for the, like kind of like the juvenile years of our dragons. Um, it is a little bit gawky. So let's go ahead and we're going to feed her up to level 12, I think, is when... Oh, there we go. Oh no, I'm out of food. Tulip, your appetite has gone through the roof <gasps> and we're level 17. Tulip, thank you. All right, so we are, yes, more farm plots. I knew Tulip with her little fairy dragon-ness would be perfect. So we now have the ability to expand our park to buy more habitats. We can have more farm plots, which means more food for all of our dragons. Uh, let's see, a fire habitat upgrade. We can now gather up beech wood. We can have jeweled paths. I mean, just look at all of this inspiration, you guys. I haven't even thought about this, but maybe as fancy as my tree decorating needs to be in so many of our series, it's just a cluster of, of beautiful trees and some nice looking rocks. That could definitely get some gardens built in zoo crafting for sure. Oh, there we go. All right, so now we need to just haul bunny hunkers to, uh, or maybe dragon, dragon tails <laughs> to level 18. So let's see, I've got some new goals. A fox glow dragon. You're kidding me. A fox glow dragon? Ah, that just sounds so awesome. And now we can actually have uh, max efficiency. We can get our final plot. So we can only have six at a time, unfortunately. I wish we could have more. Um, I guess I can go ahead and just put it right down here. Poor Tulip. Hang on. I'll put it over here. That's better because it's just kind of out of the way. You can't really see it. Um, but whenever I harvest things, it'll always have me harvest and plant in a big loop together. So we'll come back and we'll harvest from there in a minute. So we can't really see that plot, but I actually prefer it tucked back there because then we can fill this area with beautiful flowers for Tulip. And speaking of things for Tulip, we're going to spend my gems 
even though it's painful, we're going to have to spend a lot of gems in order to just haul ourselves up to the next level, guys. So hang in there with me. But let's feed Tulip and I want to see what she looks like fully grown because she looks kind of delicate and dainty. I mean, she is a fairy dragon, so I guess they're supposed to be super tiny, but I just worry about her. She, she looks a little a little fragile. I want to be able to leave her in, alone in the fairy dragon nest. Um, she'll have some companionship soon, as soon as we get some fairy mix eggs. But I just, I want to make sure that she's hearty, that she's got, she's got, oh, look at all that experience, Tulip, yes. Good job, Tulip, good girl. Give me all that experience. Okay, I think, is level 15? Oh my gosh. Tulip, your appetite. I have to buy more food. Ah, my poor gemstones. And thank you guys, by the way, so much to those of you who are my Facebook friends and have been sending me gemstones. Without your help, I would not be able to do this much. And I definitely need to get back on Facebook and figure out how to show you guys, like, how to become friends. I'm, I am never chat, never talk. I don't even post on Facebook anymore. But that's how most of these games are synced. <gasps> Tulip! You're so beautiful! Oh my gosh, she totally grew into herself. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my gosh. And that tail is now blooming. Tulip, you're still dainty, delicate, and small. But my goodness, doesn't she just look so elegant strolling around her fairy habitat? That makes me really happy. All right, let's crack open some of these other eggs and see what's inside. I'm pretty sure this magma Hi, little buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and let him find a new home in exchange for some of these crystals because we're getting very, very close now to being able to go ahead and have another enchanted gemstone. And this guy, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's new. So I have no idea who is waiting for us inside of here. Oh, whoa, a thermal dragon. He looks so cute. Hi, little guy. There you go, buddy. We now have one whole thermal dragon. Oh no! And then my game crashed and I think I, I, oh good, I didn't lose an egg. I was so worried. Are you okay down there? Piranu, you caused a little bit of a hiccup in, in everything, but I'm glad to see you seem like you're doing okay. All right, let's go ahead and feed him up to level four just so that he will be up and ready to go. There we go, little buddy. Oh, that's so cute. All right, so he's up and ready to go. Good to go for collecting, good to go for being able to breed up for new eggs. And speaking of new eggs, let's go ahead and check out what this interesting armored egg, it kind of, it either looks kind of like a palm tree or it looks kind of like an armor piece. <gasps> an oasis dragon? He's a little palm tree dragon. How cute is that? And he needs some room to roam. So we're gonna put him over here. Let's see, okay, is that gonna open okay? Yes, it did, okay. So he is going to roam over here inside of this exhibit. Oh, look at him fly! He gets to hang out with Fern, our Fern dragon. Let's go ahead and feed him up. I'm actually curious about what he grows into. So since we're working on grinding away that experience right now, let's go ahead and feed him up to level eight. Oh, so hungry, oh, so hungry. All right, oh, level nine, I mean. There you go, little buddy. Not so little anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, that's amazing. You're amazing. This is awesome. I, I really didn't expect him to just like grow a, a tree trunk for a neck. That's pretty awesome. All right, good job, little guy. I really like you too. So all right, we have cracked open all of our eggs. We are almost ready to harvest all of our new stuff. I'm actually really curious. Tulip, I was moving too quickly, but I want to read her story really fast. So fairy dragon. The flower in the fairy dragon's tail smells so pleasant, other dragons will sniff after it for miles. Lillian suspects the flower smells like the favorite smell of whoever sniffs it, which brings up some strange questions about why Sebastian insists the flower smells like stinky cheese. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Imagine, her little tail will smell like your favorite smell in the world. So I have to know, you guys. What is your favorite smell in the whole world? I have to say mine at the moment is probably daydreaming about lilacs. I love fresh blooming lilacs. There is just something so peaceful about it, especially because it makes me think about spring. I, I really love the scent of lilacs. So right now my favorite smell, I would say, is definitely the scent of lilacs. 
All right, now we can harvest all from, hey now, you were supposed to be included in that, buddy. I saw that, there we go. So now we can harvest all from all of our plots. And even though you can't see the plot, because we can just toss them like that, there we go. I knew we'd be able to take care of it all right. But all right, so we have now gathered and hatched all of the eggs. We have opened up both the fossil and the fairy habitats. And we now need to see what eggs, oh, this is a newbie. Oh my goodness. We need to see what eggs are hiding inside. Oh yeah, that looks like an alpine egg. Uh, what eggs were hiding inside of the breeding caves? So it looks like we'll have another new egg for next time. And by the way, you guys probably saw something happened over here. This is the weekend challenges because it is currently a weekend for me. And what happens is as you fill these, then you earn these special coins or like these special little rings. And when you get a certain amount of rings, then you get different prizes all the way up to this mysterious silver chest where you get to flip all of the tiles. So I am going to try harder on the weekend challenges in the future. Uh, I'm just really like, I can't focus on them because I'm trying to focus on getting to level 18 right now. <laughs> so we will definitely work on that in the future for sure. But all right, so let's see, what else can we do possibly for experience? Let's, ooh, that's good experience. Let's gather up all of these spots that we have been trying to clear. Yes, 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 there we go. I set those to clear out quite a while ago. So I'm not clearing everything because it's one, kind of expensive, two, I love like the greenery and the plants, but I just wanted to have some of the like big boulders out of the way in case I wanted to do something over next to them. Um, and how else could we get some experience? Honestly, feeding our dragons is the best way to gain lots and lots of experience. Um, let's see, and we do have quite a few dragons out and about. What's our newest goal that they're trying? Oh, an underbrush dragon. I would be quite happy to find out what an underbrush dragon can do. Oh, and a windmill. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a windmill really quickly. Oh, those are expensive. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and buy one and put it like, I kind of want to put it next to the the farm but it ends up being kind of in the range where I was going to be like yes this is my this is my jungle area um well I guess I already own it I gotta do something with this windmill um let's see I didn't I definitely that's not the ideal decoration for my fairy habitat uh we'll just put it right here and I'll have to move it later oh that gave us a lot of experience actually nice all right, well, it'll just have to stay there for a minute, but I think you can you can even like maybe sell it or I guess you can't put it away in an inventory or anything like that. So we have to remember that. But eventually the farm may move back over to this side. Uh, everything's just kind of a mess right now. <laughs> so we'll work on that. But all right, so I think we're gonna go ahead and grow some of our dragons up that will help us with not only being able to gather tons more moolah, but it will also help us with being able to get up levels. So, what dragons am I pretty curious about? Let's actually come over and feed a little pony, Ponai, uh, because she is our alpine dragon and she is very beautiful. So I would love to see what she grows up into. So let's go ahead and give her lots and lots of food. There we go, almost there, almost there. And, oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness, growing. Look at that tail. It's just like when my finches have had their juveniles and their their baby feathers are coming in and like they're getting their first set of proper flight feathers. They have little spiky butts just like this when their little flight feathers are coming in. That is just so cute. It just makes me think so much about when my finches grow up. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a lot more food, but I think that spending a horrendous amount of gems on food and just raising our dragon's levels are, it's the way to go. So let's go ahead and just keep going. Just keep going. And the higher level we raise our alpine dragon, the more she will be able to go and collect for us when we send her gathering, which is also very important. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, she still has a little spiky tail. Oh my goodness. I was not expecting that, so that's actually really adorable. Oh, and is she going to get us up to... <gasps> We're so close! We're so close, you guys. We are so close to the next level. Okay, quick, who's another baby I can feed? The geyser dragon! <laughs> Let's go ahead and feed the little geyser dragon, uh, who's really cute. A fire and a water mix. So those fire and water elements mixed together. 
Uh, so this might be, we might be able to get there. Oh, 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 the cherry blossoms are falling. Spring has reached the surface and the Zen dragons are back. They've even brought some new friends and some stylish creature comforts for decorating. Oh my gosh, did we just do it? <gasps> Vivian, you get, you get, you get celebratory food. Okay, I'm out of celebratory food, but Vivian, thank you. There's cherry blossoms everywhere. Did we do it? Did we do it? This, oh my gosh, the Sakura dragon, the Roni dragon, the Sumi dragon, oh my gosh, that literally looks like something out of a Kami. Oh my goodness, everything is suddenly, the Zen habitat is available, sunrise dew, the Zen flag, rocks and clovers, the Zen path, the tranquil tower, cherry trees, oh my gosh, flourishing flower boxes, and the hall of wonder, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we did it, oh my goodness. The, the limited dragons are back. <gasps> but will we be able to get any of them? Oh my gosh. All right, guys. We're going to find out next time because this is probably going to take me a little bit to go through. So we finally have gotten up to level 18. I can stop grinding so hard away and stuffing our dragons full of food. We can take it as an easier pace as soon as I figure out if I can get my hands on that Sakura dragon. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.